Hi, I'm Joe Witkowski. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own cop tools out of Mason's tuck pointing tools. Okay, there's what I'm starting out with, a square tip. It's fairly thick. And we'll round it off. Okay, I've got the tip rounded, and you can see it's kind of thick there and sharp. So now after we've got it down, after we've got it rounded off, now I'm going to put the bevel on the back side so that the cock is smooth. Again, you don't want it razor sharp. So take the sharp edge off. I'm using a, a sanding sponge. It's got a nice fine, uh, fine grit to it. Again, the smoother the tool, the smoother your caulk is going to come out. If you can see that, beveled it down. Cleaned up the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna lay a bead of caulk down here. And this is a pretty good bead, actually. I'm going to take this tool here. You'll see how it's tooling it. Now if you lay it down more, going to leave more caulk on there. It's going to leave a wider bead of caulk. Okay. Now if you stand it up more, it's going to take more caulk out. See, it makes the bead smaller. Okay. Lay it down, the bead is wider. But 
now you get to see a, see the difference in just by putting can even make it a little smaller. I'm kind of leaving that. You know, if I was doing a you know finished job, I wouldn't have left so much caulk on there. I'm doing this um, just to show you. Then here's the smaller one. If you need something even smaller, you can grind the sides down and make it you know smaller if you can't find a smaller knife. And the reason why we grind this down is to get it nice and smooth. If you didn't grind that down, this would be cutting the, you know, it'd be marring up whatever you're trying to caulk, leaving lines, leaving marks, scratching it up. Okay. That's how you make your own uh, caulk finishing tools out of tuck pointing tools. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more how to ideas, visit my website at www.doityourselfwithjoe.com. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button to keep up to date with future videos. Also, visit and like me on Facebook. If you'd like advice on a how to project, or you have a request for a future video, leave a comment in the comment section below.